everybody and welcome back. In this particular video I'm going to walk you through how to install the Oracle JDBC drivers. Um, so I downloaded and um, I installed in the last video Oracle uh, 10G. However the driver that I'm going to use is for the 11G. So if you have 11G or 10G this video will work for you. And uh, this is the URL right up here. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can read that. It's uh, at the Oracle site. The JDBC drivers, some of them are third party, some of them are made by Oracle. It um, doesn't really matter which one you use. For the purposes of reliability, I like to use the Oracle drivers. And the Oracle drivers um, are pretty flexible and they do pretty much everything everything everybody else is going to do. But they're a little bit, you know, they're made by Oracle, so I mean they're going to be a little bit uh, closer, I would say, uh, to functionality, um, you know, perfection, I guess. So uh, if you go to copy this URL down right here, this is what you've been looking at. Pause the video, type that into your URL, and go to this website, and go ahead and let me zoom out a little bit so I can kind of sort of see the screen a little bit. Um, you have to uh, s accept accept the uh, license agreement and the driver that you're going to want is this one right here the one that says Oracle JDBC 6.jar and these are the classes for the JDK, JDK 1.6 I actually have 1.7 and you can tell which version of Java that you have by going to a DOS prompt and typing in Java C Java C, oops, let me make this a little bit bigger here, dash version, and I can see that I have Java C version 1.7.0.02. Um, the driver, the latest driver that out, is out available at this point is 1.6 for the JD, JDK 1.6. So if you click on the click on the file itself, save it to your local system. It's a pretty quick file. doesn't take too much time to download. That one will work. Again, just to clarify the point, that driver that you just downloaded, the one that says OJDBC uh, 6 point jar, that says it works with 1.6, works with 1.7. You're going to see it right here in a few minutes. Um, but uh, don't worry, we don't actually have one yet for 1.7 from the Oracle site. Um, so what I just did is I just downloaded it and I stuck it on my desktop, I believe. Go take a look here. Yep, here it is right here. You need to move it, and you need to move it to this location, the location that you're going to move it to. Uh, depending upon uh, where you've got Java installed, let me make this a little bit bigger. If uh, I called my directory Java, if you call the Java, you want to go down to lib, and you want to go down to ex, ext for extension, and you want to take and drag it and put it in this directory. And I already actually had the driver installed, but I'll just replace it. So I'm going to go yes. And there it is. And so just make a note that this is the directory that you want to put it into. And that the directory is Java uh, lib, uh, excuse me, Java JRE, JRE, Java JRE lib, and then ext. I put it in a little readme, readme file for you, and I'm going to put the readme file out on the website. And the readme file here uh, sort of runs through the instructions for you. Uh, so you need to install the Java JDBC drivers for Oracle. You can use the one provided by Oracle. I gave you the link. Download the driver. This is the link here as well. And I'll make sure I put this as a link uh, underneath the YouTube video. Uh, the current version, and here's the current version here, works with 1.7 as well as 1.5 and 1.6. So you copy the file, and here's the location here. It's jrelibext. You have to make sure you put it in this location so it can be found and it can be run. And then the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna run the sample program to test the connection, because right now I can't really tell if anything actually worked. Um, so I'm gonna include in this, this file actually also includes uh, the source, the well, the next part, the next video, so. I'll upload it all in one, and you can test it out using these pr programs here, but this is going to be in another video. Uh, what you're primarily interested in is this part right here on the top. This is part one. So, uh, so the test program, and I'll make a link to this test program as well, and the test program is going to be called JDBC Test Oracle. It's going to work with Oracle, and 
This assumes that you have uh, the Java JEE installed already and you have Oracle installed already. And I'm going to bring it up. It doesn't require any database, anything created outside of uh, you know the regular stuff that you installed. Um, it does require that you unlock the HR account. So if you have not unlocked the HR account, take a look at the previous video on the Oracle install and unlock the HR account. Or if you don't want to go back that far and you have already installed Oracle 10G or 11G, you're going to get this little icon that shows up on the desktop. It says getting started with Oracle. If you double click on that icon, you'll see it a link right here that says unlock the sample user account. The sample user account is called HR. I changed the password to HR. I believe the password was probably empty. Follow through the instructions here to unlock the HR account. I've already done this for you in the previous video. If you have not done that already, you need to do this. And uh, once you have it unlocked, then go back in and let's take a look at this sample program. So the sample program, let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger, here it is, is uh, going to do nothing more than test the driver for you. And uh, you might notice, and I'll go through in the next video, um, actually I'll do it with a lecture uh, in the next video, you'll have uh, a little bit more about the syntax. However, what we're doing and the, the key points about this, and I kind of like JGRAS for a couple good reasons. One of them is uh, it actually color codes everything in a really nice kind of format. And if you're not familiar with this program that I'm using, this is JGRASP. And uh, let me just show you real quick. I believe it's www.jgrasp.org. Let's just take a look here real quick. It is. So if you go to www.jgrasp.org and you click on the download site, you're going to get the options to download this program. It's absolutely free on the bottom here. You can see it actually works on the Mac, it works on Windows, and works on Linux. It's a nice little uh, GUI, um, as you can see, actually. If we go back to it real quick here. Nice little GUI. Color codes things for you. It works with Java. It actually also works with C++ uh, and a couple of other languages as well. Object C, actually. Um, so you can, you know, it has like a, you know, Actually, it sort of reminds me of Eclipse a little bit. So, a little, nice little interface to it. Uh, it's free, you know, it's just because I don't like using Notepad and it just color codes everything for me. Um, so, you know, that was a uh, JGRASP. So, uh, feel free to go ahead and download that and install that as well because I'll be using that throughout this course um, as well. Not a bad, not a bad little IDE. So, let me close that window there. Eh, actually, we'll just keep it on. I'll just minimize it. So let's go back to this little program here and watch it run. And uh, what we're looking at is uh, the Oracle. This is the part to actually pay attention to right now. Uh, I'm going to go through the rest of this code in a little bit more detail in the next video. Uh, but Oracle JDBC driver, Oracle driver, this is the big part here. This is the driver that we downloaded. And this is the one that came from Oracle and the Oracle driver. Um, other ones will say JDBC driver, this will probably be the same, but it might say MySQL over here, and then it might say connector J over here, or connector J here, MySQL over here. Um, this is just driver specific. Um, in fact, when you download it and you go through the README files on the Oracle site, you can get this information. Um, and this is just doing a little try catch uh, to make sure that the driver actually loads. Um, after we load the driver, we're going to open the connection to the database, and the connection to the database, this is the key here. We have the Ex Express Edition installed, and the database is actually called XE. Um, that's the database name. We're going to use localhost because it's installed on this computer. And it's JDB JDBC colon Oracle colon thin colon, and then the address. And this is actually the database name and the port. Uh, and this is the default information. Cut and paste this. In fact, this is what's in the sample file that I'm also going to include right below the YouTube video so that you can download it and, um, you know, use it uh, in, without having to type anything here. Uh, so you can just go ahead and run that file. Um, here, uh, it's the HRHR. If, if you didn't use HR as the password on your HR account, then um, this would be blank. Uh, but this is the name of the password, and then we're just going to run a select star from jobs, and it's going to give us a list of the of the 
everything that's inside of jobs, which is one of the tables that's inside of the HR sample database. And uh, here's just going to give us our query results after it executes the query. Um, and I'll go through the syntax of this uh, in the next video. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, what we're looking at is uh, making sure that the connector, the database connection is actually working. So I'm going to compile this, and if I'm using JGRASS, the option for compiling is going to be in the build directory, and I'm going to select compile. And then on the bottom of the screen, which is kind of like why I was trying to make this a little bit bigger, down here, at the bottom of the screen we have our results. So if I go ahead and compile it again, you sort of see the results down here. And it says, oh, it compiled. And if I move this completely up here, and we clear for a second. You can actually kind of see it work a little bit better. There you go. So the operation was successful. Now I'm going to run it. So if I go run, we see it running. And what do we see as a result? This is the Oracle queries. This is what you should see when you run this example. What I'm seeing is a select star from jobs. And these are all of the jobs that are in the job table uh, that we're seeing. So the query actually produced the correct results. And uh, let me make this a little bit bigger here. This is where it says Oracle Query. It's actually in our code. It says Oracle Query. And then it's taking and taking out the first string from the query results. Uh, so it's get string one, which is the first column, uh, which is probably going to be the job. looks like uh, these look like job titles. Um, so it's probably job titles. Actually, we could check that real quick. Um, if we go into the database, I believe I still have the tab here. I do. HR, HR, login. And uh, I go into the database and I look at the object browser. And it's going to show me tables. And I look at the jobs. And I see the first column here is job ID, which would be zero, and then job title. So if I look at the data itself, this is the job ID. Oh, actually, this is the job ID that was showing. So what we're looking at here, let me just start at the beginning so I can kind of see this, see this kind of relate to the output here. It says add press, add VP. In our program output, we have uh, add press, add VP. So I mean, it's kind of a good test to make sure it works. Check the data. It did. Well. I didn't get any database errors, so it uh, definitely connected and worked fine. Uh, so you want to do that. That's your next task is install the Oracle JDBC driver. It's just a download and then copy it into that directory. And uh, after you get done installing the driver, download this program. This is called JDBD, JDBC test oracle.java. Load it up in um, Eclipse and JGRASP. It doesn't really matter what you use. Download and install JGRASP if you want. Um, and then uh, make sure the driver runs. And you might have to change the password. Remember that. You have to change the password for the HR account. If you haven't changed it already, you have to unlock the HR account. Uh, but this is a pretty straightforward file. It's pretty, pretty straightforward source code. Uh, it should hopefully give you uh, put a step in the right direction. Make sure you get the driver installed. So now what we're doing is we're connecting. Actually, we're using JDBC at this point. We are in a Java program and we are connecting to an Oracle database that's running in the background, and uh, we are logging in and getting information from it. Um, the server database server happens to be on the same computer, uh, which is why we're using local host over here. But if it wasn't. If it if, were, if let's say, on a remote computer, we can actually put a URL in here, like you know, IP address or something of the database server and connect to a remote server. So this was lesson number one on the JDBC, getting the drivers installed. And stay tuned uh, for the next lecture, and I'll be going through a, creating a sample table and querying the table and doing some fun stuff with it. Uh, so stay tuned for the next tutorial, and thank you for watching.